Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about utility classes. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, thanks for the video. I want to know your opinion about Tailwind CSS utility classes. Well, my opinion, I did this is not specific to Tailwind in any way. It's, I would say, the the opinion I have in general about utility classes in CSS. So the thing that I argue about utility classes is that what you're in essence doing, like if we take the con now of course depending on what type of CSS architecture you're going with, but f the simplest thing that you usually do in CSS is that you just create a class, something like that, put a bunch of rules into it or properties and specify like what those properties are going to be and then you put that onto an element so there's usually for a lot of people a one-to-one -one match in between an element and the class in not always but in many cases where the CSS utility style is to just create one class for a specific property or a suite of properties that are like so common that you always want them to be applied and what you're doing there, in my opinion, is that you're just moving the declaration of your properties from the CSS file to the HTML. That's all you're doing. It's literally the same thing. It's just that you moved where you declare it. And in my in my personal experience, what that leads to is HTML bloat. If you have a complex element, complex element you actually need a lot of utility classes in order to express how you want that thing to work or how how it should look and so forth. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I was very into CSS utility classes at one point. Uh, this was before I discovered BEM, block element modifier, like that paradigm, and I switched over to BEM. And the reason why I switched was because of this very thing. Now, the one thing I will give utility classes in terms of like concrete, non-subjective, like completely non-subjective stuff now. The thing that it really gives is dryness. There will be, like, if you express your styles through a CSS utility system, like a utility, cl uh, cl utility class system, it will be like the minimum amount of CSS that you can produce because you basic what you're basically doing is that you're never redeclaring a utility class. You're not like duplicating information. You're using the least amount of characters in your CSS. You're using the least amount of characters in your HTML, etc., right, etc. Et uh, the thing is, though, that sounds all good and well on paper, but I've found that there's actually a better way to do that, in my opinion. This is just me completely, Frederick, saying that this is there's a better way. And it is actually even smaller in terms of footprint, if we're going to make that argument, if you didn't get the whole, I don't really like that you move the CSS with, from the CSS file, where like it's actually supposed to be, or I'm not so saying supposed to be, but where it makes a lot of sense to have all the styling and simply moving that to, H to the HTML. Uh, the, the thing I've found is that with BEM, as an example, this whole, like you, you get a one, it's usually the case, right? You have a one-to-one -one mapping between a class and an element on the page. Now, the argument against that is, all right, there's a lot of duplication there. Like if we're talking non-subjective stuff, we're going to talk about the subjective stuff as well. Yes, BEM has more duplication because it's the same thing as most other CSS style systems that you could be using. You're redeclaring properties, you're using colors in multiple places, etc., etc., instead of just declaring them in one place. Now, what I argue though is that if you use a compiler, CSS compiler, such as SAS, LES, it doesn't really matter, post CSS, whatever, every single one of them will have the ability to include things or to do an extend of some sort. And as soon as you can do an extension, you have the same thing that CSS utility classes is giving you, which is composition. It's a, for the functional nerds out there. Composition is what CSS utility classes gives you. You have the ability to pick and choose how you want to compose something without 
re-declaring it or without creating a custom like a duplication or anything like that and that's the thing about using extensions and so forth depend uh, you need to look at like the output because depending on what compiler you have you might actually get some duplication so I'm not gonna swear by this but conceptually that is the same thing so in other words if you create a single class and you have like abstract or like super classes which like it would be the same thing as the utility classes uh, in your CSS these things like they will simply be there to be an extension of whatever you get now the output of course is still going to contain like the duplication because uh, I mean you can't unfortunately at this time extend like it, when the browser is going to run that code there's going to be duplication like you don't have to have duplication in the code that you're writing but you're going to have uh, duplication in the output and so effectively you're still like you're still doing the duplication but you could like keep it dry if you wanted to but uh, honestly to god guys what i'm saying here is that the if you're that into optimizing the size of your CSS like you're so into it that the amount of characters that you use in order to express your rules makes a difference then you by all means use utility classes but as I said it comes with the trade-off that you're bloating the HTML instead so you're someone can probably take a look at doing the looking into this deeper but in, in essence I don't see like there is a negli like a negligible difference because I mean if you have BAM you have one class name to one element in say utility if you use utility classes you have I mean as an example if you have the exact same element well that's a bunch of utility classes o o repeated over and over so there you're actually losing characters because you could just reuse the same utility you could in BAM or like having a class you could just use the single class uh, declaration for the same thing so you're not actually wasting more characters yeah, like, it, it, that's what for me what it really comes down to. It's uh, this argument that utility classes is drier is only true depending on how you do it. If we're talking about the objective stuff, subjective stuff, scalability. Like it even says on Tailwind's uh, homepage that whoever this famous person is, uh, work, uh, who is some lead person. Uh, at the famous company states that it's the only scalable thing that she's found to work uh, for large uh, for large uh, teams I I can agree to a point but I think it's really really stretching it and I think that there's a like the, the sales pitch there is like hilarious anybody who is a serious uh, front-end developer will know that just because you're using utility classes that does not guarantee that your CSS is like that it's gonna scale sure if you have no strategy for how to deal with your CSS hierarchies and so forth and you're like really not fall like you mean the argument and the found like the creator behind it says of course that best practices are never followed this is absolutely true but then the question is are those really good practices to follow and this is where I argue that if you are a very serious front-end developer and you're good at what you do I'm not talking about that you know smacks object-oriented CSS BEM etc so I I'm talking about that you understand how to create a scalable system when you're writing software this is not an issue I've never had a non scalable scalability problem with my CSS when my team and my, myself are following certain guidelines it's it's bullshit in my opinion that is complete bullshit that, that it's not like that utility classes is the only sustainable way yes it is the only sustainable way if you don't know what you're doing and unfortunately and this is the argument that that's why I actually am Pro say is Tailwind. Tailwind makes it really easy. Or CSS utility classes. It's it's really scalable in that sense because if you're gonna mix developers who really know their stuff with developers who don't know their stuff or don't really care all that much, this is a very good system to do so because it it requires no cognitive effort. Like all you have to tell them is, hey, here are all these building blocks. Put them together to create your style, but you're only allowed to use those building blocks those utility classes nothing else it's a very simple I'll that that I will give uh, utilities uh, classes so what I want you to take away from this is basically that overall 
my preferred style if uh, usually what I say is that uh, if I'm working on a single client problem in other words there's just one set of uh, applications that's going to use the styling and the components of whatever I'm creating uh, you should use BEM the reason is very simple it works very nice for my workflow it is extremely performant you can like cross comp like you can compile things on multiple threads and so forth um, it's what works for every single project with minimum amount of dependencies like you don't need any extra fluff it's just CSS it scales to the size of any like it can grow as big as possible there's nothing I've ever found to be an issue with BEM it's just good across the board in my opinion at the very least uh, downside is uh, or like that one time I will give utility classes a uh, thumbs up and say hey this is actually it does make sense is that when you're dealing with uh, when you have issues of uh, experience levels with the people that you're working with if you have no way of controlling how pe like if people can continuously fuck up the CSS and like create really bad uh, inheritance and so forth and you have no structures you can use utility classes but in my opinion that's like you shouldn't that's just like using microservices to deal with legacy code it's that you're using the wrong thing to solve the wrong problem it's you should be educating people you should be doing other things in my opinion downside with utility classes is that you get a lot of HTML bloat so you're taking a readable format such as CSS like in a CSS file and putting it every every single thing into the HTML, which is actually mucking up the HTML, making the HTML harder to uh, to read. And this argument that one is drier or like more performant than the other, I think that's kind of bullshit because it really depends on the situation. Have a great day.